Uh, in today's uh, Grant McComey getaway, we go out to Baker City. The town is celebrating the anniversary of when Hollywood came to Eastern Oregon. When the whistle blows in Sumter, Oregon, one thing's for sure. Train number one to Sumter. Adventure isn't far behind. And when you step aboard the Stump Dodger, all aboard! Even a century later, this Baker County Railroad's always on time. The original purpose of the railroad when it was built in the 18, late 1800s, early 1900s was to haul lumber and logs. It's history in action, that's for sure, but not surprising for a community that holds on to history. Take a gander at downtown Baker City, where extra-wide boulevards and century-old buildings show off great pride and heritage. Baker City was designed to become a major city. Um, the main street is really wide, so you can turn a full wagon train around in the middle of it. Uh, you can see that they wanted this to be the center of Oregon, really. The capital, really. Yeah, they really wanted it to be the capital. Carly Annable is the director of the Baker Heritage Museum and says stories and artifacts of gold mining, ranching, logging are all easy to discover. But this spring, there's another story that takes center stage, the time Hollywood came to Baker County. Come along with Lee Marvin, Clint Eastwood, and Gene Seaver in Paint Your Wagon. Everyone has a story about the summer that Hollywood came to Baker County a small rural area like Eastern Oregon, you don't often get those kinds of opportunities. It was the summer of 68 when an army of actors and crew set about transforming a woodsy area just outside of town into no-name city. Big shot actors like Lee Marvin and Clint Eastwood starred in the Western musical movie that was adapted from a popular stage play. The museum's newest exhibit celebrates the 50th anniversary of the movie version of Paint Your Wagon. Scores of photos were donated by locals who were hired as extras. Plus, other donations include colorful international movie posters and even features the pants that Lee Marvin wore in the film. They're very thick wool, very wool. thick wool. It was difficult to figure out how to properly mount them to yeah, hang. And people get a kick out of that, don't oh, they? Oh, they love it. <laughs> Folks also love this one and only scale model of the massive set that would eventually become the third most expensive movie musical ever filmed. Paramount was kind enough to ultimately donate to us. It was how they figured out how they were going to do camera angles or how things are going to be laid out. It really, I think, is like the icing on the cake of this exhibit. While the movie went on to become a box office flop, Carly insists that it was a hit with locals who have cherished memories of the time Hollywood came to Baker County. So even if it wasn't a huge deal to the rest of the world, Baker County will always tout themselves as the place that Paint Your Wagon was filmed. In Baker County, with photographer Jonathan Shell, Grant McComey, KGW. That was a big movie when I was a kid. I remember seeing it. Paint yeah. Your Wagon. So in fact, there. Hey, have a great day, Ellen.